Hello, figured I'd do another GeoGuessr video. Um, I'm gonna do some no moving painting or zooming. It's a tough game mode. This is Columbia because of the cross on the back of the sign. Um, if there's this cross shape on the back of a sign and the back of it is just whatever, gray, white, whatever, it's going to be Colombia. If the back is black, it's going to be Brazil. But I don't think you see back of the sign too commonly in Brazil. I don't think they always have a cross in the back in Brazil. And this is a huge clue in Colombia. I could be wrong on the Brazil thing with the cross, but in Colombia, you always get it. So where in Colombia does this look? Maybe kind of up here. Feels almost dry, but also not at the same time. It almost reminds me of like this kind, like, I don't know where in Brazil, but it reminds me of some parts on this area of Brazil. It's just, I don't know, but it's more tropical than that. I'm going to go up there. That seems good enough. Find a road, maybe there. I thought we could be somewhere, like in here. I didn't actually think of the south, but that makes sense now. Still, 3,500 is not bad. <sighs> well, this is great. World looks to be maybe gravel. I was thinking um, Scandinavia or Baltics. Estonia would be the safe bet here, probably, because it covers this general area pretty well. Maybe southern Finland, too, would be a safe bet. I want to say this feels weird, though, for... Um, well... Doesn't quite feel right. I do think it's going to be that area, though. Don't see him. Don't see any of those weird flowers on the side of the road, which um, I associate those with Estonia. Maybe you do, but I don't think you do. I'm still gonna go for it anyway. Let's go for Sarma. Not really sure why. Okay, it was further south. That was actually Poland. Let's see what I was missing um, that would have given away Poland. So, this was basically the view we had. So, I didn't see these dashes on the side. My first instinct with those would have been to go Sweden. Um, do we have any bollards? Those Polish ones are pretty distinct. This is annoying. Yeah, you. if you look over here, you see these with the red in them uh, near the top in the white strip and then otherwise white. Those are the Polish bollards. You see with them in New Zealand, I think, too, and probably some other places, but those are the two that come to mind. Either way, still around 3,500. Okay, this is a repeat. It was a weird Italy location. I remember this from something. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure if I would get it. Um, but yeah, this was a weird Italy somewhere. It looks kind of southern. It looks southern European that I would have gotten. I probably would have gone Spain, though. Just because that's typically where I go with landscapes like this. But this was Italy. It goes up there, maybe. Unfortunate I got a repeat. Um, but that's how it goes when you play the same map a lot. This one is not a repeat. You have the Sao there, which you get in Portuguese. The C A with tilde, which is a nasalized A, and the C 
with the thing under is an S sound. And then the O, which you see the O ending a lot in Portuguese and the SEO ending sometimes too. Um, but the A with tilde is a straight, is just a giveaway to Portuguese. And this is going to be Brazil, I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't look like Portugal and nowhere else has coverage. No phone numbers in sight, which would be very helpful. I'm just going to go kind of in this area of Brazil. Just because that's where a lot of stuff is. Maybe in Campinas. But I could be very off. Further south. Okay. 3,000 is not bad though. Can we get a pretty good score? That is Cyrillic over there. Um... Pro da something. I can't tell what that last character is. It looks like a Latin script D. But uh, the plate, I can't tell if it's E or an I don't think it is. Landscape. Not sure. That might be a red strip there, which would indicate Kyrgyzstan. I can't see if we have a strip there. Um, but if that is a red strip over here, that would indicate Kyrgyzstan, and I could see Kyrgyzstan with this landscape. So let's go just outside Bishkek. Nice. 49.13 is a solid score for no moving, panning, or zooming. Um... So yeah, if we turned around, we would have seen clues to metagaming with the car, um, but I'm doing no moving things or me, so I can't pan around. Let's do it again. A three streak no moving panning or zooming too, which, I mean, I'm not doing no moving panning or zooming country streaks. I just have to counter on, but, well, this is Vietnam with silver helmet. What city is that? If, is that Tang Wen? Maybe? You want to say for some reason? It's not the Yen Bai one. The Yen Bai one is much more obvious. I'm going to go for Tang Wen. No, it was a different one. Was it. Oh god, what? Bak Nin? Yeah, I thought it was based on how close it was. So yeah, I guess they have them back mean. I haven't uh, brushed up on my Vietnamese helmets in a while. That is metagame. This is also metagame, but even without it, it's a, it's a pretty obvious Bangladesh round. You've got Bengali up there. You've got more Bengali here, and it's not going to be India. So this pretty much has to be Bangladesh. I don't think they have any coverage like this in India. So, um, basically, most of the areas over here does not have um, the a Google car visible in Bangladesh and they don't have it in Dhaka, but everywhere else does. I'm gonna go just like up there. Safe bet. Uh, what's that actually in Dhaka? Maybe they do have it in Dhaka in some parts. No, it was a, it was just south of Dhaka. So suburb. Okay, well this is a pretty obvious uh, Germany round. We've got these blurred out buildings, and because of that, Germany is referred to as Blurmany within the GeoGuessr community often. So, I'm gonna go for Germany here. Only certain cities have coverage in Blurmany, Germany, whatever. I'm just gonna call it Blurmany because it rolls off the tongue better. Um, but yeah, you have these buildings just 
blurt out. And those are very common in Germany because basically Germany blocks block Google from releasing their Street View unless um, unless uh, Google will blur out houses of people who want their houses blurred out. And they only release in cities because of that. I'm going to go for this Rhine River area over here. Because that's where most of the coverage is. Because there's like a lot of cities here. Let's go for Dusseldorf. Okay, it was in Nuremberg. Still, 41-10 is a pretty good score. Okay, so this coverage was taken in the winter. Looks European. Is that a yellow plate? That plate looks very yellow, which is confusing me. It's going to go Bulgaria because the coverage was taken in the winter, but... Maybe it's not Bulgaria. Maybe it's something like France with a weird yellow plate. Because old plates in France used to be yellow, I think, on the back, but not on the front. And that is a front plate. Alternatively, my eyes could just be failing me. That looks very yellow to me, though. The car could also just be traveling. Um, I think I could go France here because I have a couple of ideas. But the front plate wouldn't be yellow in the UK either, so do I just go for Netherlands even though I know it's going to be wrong? Like, you have a hill there. Those are very rare in the Netherlands. Could it be Bulgaria or Luxembourg? I don't remember when Luxembourg coverage is taken, but Luxembourg seems like it makes sense here, actually. You know what? Let's, well, does Luxembourg have highways like this? I don't actually know. They probably do. Uh, let me take a look at this on the map. Looks like your normal two-lane highway. Some, maybe it is, maybe they do have them in Luxembourg. The question here is whether it trusts a plate, though, which I can only barely see, but it looks very yellow to me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for Luxembourg. I know I'm going to be wrong, but I was not wrong, and it was Luxembourg. That's a very nice score. So we were on the A4, and yeah, just the A4 here. In Luxembourg. I'm glad I looked at that plate. I even got the right highway because for some reason I clicked on the A4 up there. I guess that's where I looked. Okay. I'm gonna, well, I'm trying to read that. I can't. First thing that comes to mind is Bhutan. I suck with architecture, well, I mean, could this house be Bhutan? It could, but I'm not sure. Let's go full screen. See if that makes this any easier to read. It does make it much easier to read. Basic health unit. Pushing. Would they use just Latin script in somewhere in Bhutan, though? Uh, but it's not going to be Colombia, which was... It's not going to be Colombia. I don't think it'll be Taiwan. I think they're more likely to do that in Bhutan than anywhere else it could be. Naka. Naka. 
Oh, that's still on thing. Seal pujing or something. See if I find that from a quick glance. Gem gong, that sounds similar. Probably not gonna find it, but I think it is like late we're in Bhutan here. Um Well where else could it be with these types of hills? Can't think of many other places. I think I just could go for it. Let's do it. Let's go. That's also an eight country streak, no moving, panning, or zooming. And that is definitely a PB for no moving, panning, zooming. Gyal posing. Okay. Well, I wouldn't have seen that. 23616. My PB, no moving in general, is a 24.2k. So, if I got this Germany one right in, the si in terms of the city... Let me make sure there was no... I want to check if there's any other information which could have given away the city. Um... Yeah, I don't think there was. I mean, I probably could have found... I, I might have been able to figure it out, but I'm not that good, honestly. Despite the fact that I just got 23,616 points. Now moving, paying, or zooming, but I don't think I would have figured out Nuremberg. So I just went with the safe, the safe bet of Rhine Ruhr. Um, everything else was very good. Well, on continues the streak. Let's see. So this looks U.S. or Canada. Can we see that sign there in full screen? Franklin, welcome. Well, that's useless. I'm gonna go for the US. I don't think it's Canada, but hopefully it's not. Was that US or was it Canada? It was US. Franklin, New Hampshire, I guess. No, there was that wasn't a town apparently. Just a random welcome sign. Oh, Franklin Lane. Still random welcome sign in the middle of nowhere. Well, this is for ten. Let's see anything that I miss when I don't go full screen. We've got a pretty concrete road. My first two thoughts are Mexico and Peru, but the sun looks north, so probably not Mexico. Um, that car almost looks like it's driving on the left, but I can't see it. Could this be Bolivia as well? Possibly. Um, could it be Chile? What color is the middle line here? There is none is the problem. If the middle line was white, that would make things a lot easier because it would just mean Chile. Um, we have some mountains in the background, but they're not particularly numerous. So maybe it could be Bolivia. Not great with either, um, well, I'm just not great. Um, no moving, panning, zooming. I'm just not that great of a player overall. So. The car is also looking like it's driving on the left, but pretty much have to ignore it because I can't think of anywhere this could be that could drive on the left. Because I'm pretty confident it's not Southern Africa. It just looks so South American, so that's just a useless clue. 
That car also looks like it's turning, so maybe it's just turning a bit weird. Or just bad angle. Could it be Bolivia? Or do I trust my first instinct and go Peru? I think I trust my first instinct and go Peru. Please be Peru. Could it be Chile? This concrete road is really throwing me off here. Let's go Peru, though, before I make any dumb decisions. It was Bolivia. A nine country streak isn't bad, though. No moving, panning, or zooming. Let's continue on. And finish this seed and then finish off the video. Why is it not letting me exit full screen? Well, I guess I have to use speed. So. Panya Untuk Sinar Sentosa. This is Indonesia, I think more. I think it's more Indonesia than Malaysia. Um, can't see any town names anywhere. I'm just gonna go, or not Jakarta, I'm gonna go Java then because it's a decent middle ground and it's pretty uh, populated. And it was Sumatra. Did get the right country though, which I'm happy enough with. We were in Jambi. And this is why the no moving, panning, zooming on ADW is tough. Just got stuck with a tree. Or whatever this is. Vegetation looks all green. Soil looks brown, maybe? I don't know. It looks almost tropical. Not even sure what I'm thinking. Like, I can't place it exactly. Is it Ghana? Probably not Ghana. Ghana soil is redder. Brazil. I'm sure some parts of Brazil have soil that's not that red. Um, or Nigeria. I don't know. I'm gonna go Brazil because I have no better ideas here. Um, I know it's gonna be wrong. But if I can't see anything... But at least I got a guess off. And that was predictable. It was in, it was, oh my god. Well, that's why it looked kind of weird. It was Christmas Island. The thing is, that would have been incredibly easy if I could just look. Because right here, I mean... You do get stuck with the tree as your initial view, but if you look behind, you have the Christmas Island pickup truck. Unfortunate. I'll have to check out that Peru location at the end. Okay, and the last one will be this. Looks vaguely European. Somewhere up here. Um, I don't think it's gonna be Poland. Could this be Romania? Mm, probably not. This looks like Gen 2 camera. I mean, Romania's the best thing I've thought of so far. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? And this is why um, no moving, panic, zooming is hard. I'm very surprised I got a 9 streak in a 23k game. But. Wow. So that was rough. This was the one that killed the streak. I'm going to look around a bit. I'm also going to save that one for later. But anyway, let's look around. Any giveaway clues to Bolivia over Peru? Well, the pole isn't striped black and white. 
Are we driving on the left here? Like, that pickup truck is very clearly driving on the left, despite the fact that the sign's on the right. That car is on the left, though it's turning. Can't see that one. <sighs> Gotta do that accidentally once a video or something. And that one could be either. But like, suspiciously left driving looking. Either way, that's gonna be it for the video. So. I'll record again another day.